And the last of the heavy rain is on its way out of here. We do have a line of gusty rain showers that are moving through uh, East Alabama. Now they're about to cross the border over into Georgia. I wanted to show you where some of that rain is falling. These are those pockets of heavier rain. They are impacting parts of Cherokee County moving into center. Now we've also got heavy rain stretching through Jacksonville on its way towards White Plains. Oxford, Anniston, right along I-20. We've got uh, this small line of gusty rain showers also moving through Clay County on its way towards Ashland. Once this line moves through your location, I do uh, expect you to be done with the heavier rain. We will keep a few sprinkles in the forecast overnight with the chance for some clouds around as well. Uh, but as some cooler air works its way in, the story shifts to the temperatures by early tomorrow morning. You can see them here in the 30s. We do have winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour in some locations, especially along into the west of I-65 right now, and winds will remain fairly gusty overnight. Did want to show you the view from our uh, WVTM studios camera. If you look carefully, uh, you can see the trees shaking there in the wind, the camera shaking from time to time, uh, clouds clearing just a bit at this point. We don't have any rain from this view, but early tomorrow I wanted to point out that it will still be breezy, not quite as breezy as we are right now, but I'm projecting those winds to hold in the 10 to 20 mile per hour gust range. And when you have temperatures in the 30s, that does make a big difference. So here's where we expect those winds to be by 6 a.m. tomorrow. 10 to 20 mile per hour gusts. Our thermometer will show temperatures in the 30s across central Alabama, but factor in the wind. Here's what it's going to feel like to your body. When you're standing out at the bus stop, it's going to feel like the 20s in many locations. So make sure you are dressed appropriately. You're going to want extra layers early tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, we reach into the low 50s. That is below average for this time of year, but at least we have the sunshine back. We are going to be a bit milder Wednesday, Thursday, and on Friday with temperatures in the 60s. And we're dry through Friday. Friday night into Saturday, we are going to see the chance for some rain and then we're looking at the possibility of some Arctic air arriving in Alabama. This is Thursday. You see all the purples over parts of Canada. That's going to start moving southward towards Alabama, dropping our temperatures on Saturday and Sunday. And it is going to be a weekend where we have below average temperatures. So we're tracking the cold weather on the way. But first, we want to focus on the nice weather through the week. So let's take a closer look at that seven day forecast for tomorrow. We will have a high in the low 50s. That's going to feel chilly, but sunshine around. So we are very thankful for that. Wednesday does start chilly once again, but we rebound into the low 60s. That's going to feel really nice for Valentine's Day. And by Thursday, our highs reach into the middle 60s.